Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today we're going to do this really fun freeform dot painting tutorial. And so this is super easy, it's great for beginners. However, I do have a beginners dot painting tutorial and there'll be a link up in the little corner there or in the description box below. And it gives you all the basics of dot painting, the tools, how to get your dotting done nicely, running the dots, things like that. So I do recommend that. So it's a super fun and easy tutorial. I'm doing it on a small canvas board, but you can do it any type of surface you like. So let's get started. All right, so the supplies you're going to need for this project are first of all you'll need a paint surface of some sort i'm just using a canvas board and it's a five by seven piece you could paint on art paper or on cardstock if you like these cards are really nice to paint on now if you do paint on paper stock it is important to prepare the back side of your surface with gesso or white paint you need to cover that surface with paint. Otherwise, when you paint on the other side, the paper will curl. So you need to balance the tension by painting on the other side. Now I'm going to be painting my board a purple black. So I have a medium weight acrylic paint here and I'm going to mix in a little black to make that a, a purple black. You can make it whatever you like. And of course, you'll need some acrylic paints. And I love the Americana brand. And so here I have saffron yellow, bright orange, coral blush, royal fuchsia, sour apple, Bahama blue, desert turquoise, and lavender. Now, sometimes your paints can be a little bit too thick. Um, and in which case you can use a, an acrylic glazing liquid to help thin the paint uh, down. You may or may not need that. And then you'll need a paint tray. And of course, you'll need your dot painting tools. Now, I love the DIY Mandela tools, and I have two sets here. I have the regular set, and I also have the large set which has the size 17 to 28. And then you'll need a damp rag to clean your tools with. All right, so I have painted my board in that purple black and I did two coats and let it dry really, really well. And so basically we're just going to work with one color at a time. And the idea is that you're going to be painting random rows of dots, changing the size of your tool and this might be tricky at first, but uh, you'll get the hang of it and I'll demonstrate. And what you wanna do is work in constant curve type patterns. So I'm gonna work on the left side and work towards the right. So I'm starting with the Bahama blue here. And that was a number four. And then I'm going to go with a bigger tool here. That's a number six. And I'm just laying these tools down on my paint tray because I'll be using them again when once I go big and then we'll be going small. And so that's a number eight. And then a number 10 and so, and you wanna place your dots down very carefully so you get a nice, neat, clean dot. And uh, so I'm just gonna speed this up a bit here. So you just keep increasing the size of your tools. And you know, you can do them one number size or two number sizes if you like. And then just create a curve and I'm going smaller now. And then I'm going to be walking the dots here. And I do teach that in the beginner dot painting course. So there's the first row and see how nice that looks. Now you're going to clean all your tools and we'll start a new color. All right, I've cleaned all my tools off and you can just take a damp piece of paper towel and put that over the color that you've just used just to keep it from drying up. 
So now I'm going to start working from the top and work down. And in this case, I'm actually going to start with my biggest tool or the biggest tool I want to use here. And I'm going to choose the number 18. And I'm starting with the bright orange and I'm going to start with a half dot on the edge of the board and you want to sort of line it up and see where your curve is going to go. And then again, I'm just going to speed this up, but you know, you do want to take time to place your dots nicely and get a nice amount of paint onto the canvas or paper, whatever you're painting onto. And so here I'm going down in size and I keep dropping down in size and changing my tool. And then here I'm going to walk the dots. So that is the orange. So now you're going to clean your tools again and we'll do another color. Now we're moving on to the green. I don't know if this is showing very well because the black surface with the white, the camera's sort of freaking out a bit. So these colors aren't showing very true but this is the apple green that we're going to here and I'm going to cover with the towel there and we'll start again I'm going to come up from this side and I'm starting with the number 18 DIY tool again and then that'll be a 14 and a 12 and a 10 and an 8 and then you can see you just sort of want to come up the side of those little dots there. And then I'll be walking the dots again along here, just like that. So again, I'm going to clean my tools and I'll come back and show you a different color. Okay, so again, I'm just going to pull that damp cloth over the apple green. And in this case, I'm going to start with small dots and go to sort of a medium sized dot. I'm not going to do big dots, just a medium sized dot. So I'm working with the lavender and starting with about a number two here, maybe a three, and then going to uh, maybe that, yeah, two, three, four and making them gradually bigger and of course you could walk the dots in the opposite direction and meet up um, I just like doing it this way and then I'm going to fill in that little piece there with walking the dots so the way you want to do this pattern is totally up to you so I'm going to clean my tools and I'll come back and I'll do some more rows and I'll come back periodically and show you the pattern the way I'm doing it. So you can see here how I've done a complete row of the royal fuchsia. So again, there's no rules here. So I encourage you to uh, do it as you like, but you can just watch this video and see how I do my pattern. I'll just carry on and come back every few rows and show you how I'm making out. Uh, welcome back. So here is a list of the colors that I've used and uh, how I'm starting to work in some gaps here. And I'll come back once this is all dry and fill those in with smaller designs because you don't want the design to be a constant just back and forth, back and forth with halfway with one color and halfway with another color. You want to create pockets of color. And so I make care make a pocket here like that so this is where it's totally up to your own creative expression and just be playful and don't think about it too much and so I'll come back in a little bit okay so you can see how I'm coming along here and it's just a random pattern and again I'm creating these little pockets here that I'll go back in and fill in with smaller dots and just a note if by chance you get a bit of paint on your hand and you get some on your canvas just I got a little bit there just use your base color and touch it up and cover it over so there you go carry on and I'll see you once I've come to the end here so here I am at the end and so I was filling in most of it. So now I'm going to go back into all these spaces and fill them in using a variety of colors and doing walking the dots. And so I'm going to go do that and I'll come back and show you how I'm making out. 
Okay, so you can see how I'm filling in the spaces here. I'll just come in a little bit closer. That's better. So you can see I'm filling in the gaps with smaller dots and different colors and just working along. So I'll carry on and be, I'm just being playful. I'll carry on and I'll show you how I'm making out. So here we go. It's coming along nicely. You can see how that's all working out with smaller and smaller dots. So there's just these two little pieces left and we're done. Here we are, all done. I think this looks fabulous. I'll just bring it up a little closer so you can see. And you know, this really is such a fun and relaxing way to do dot painting because you're not following any pattern. You're not having to do anything really perfectly or specific. You're you're just working in a free form way of doing dot painting. So I really enjoy dot painting in this way. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could carry on and do um, double and triple layers of dots if you like. I like the way this looks, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. And if you want, you can also put an acrylic varnish on this if you wanna frame it. And I would probably use a matte finish just to protect your piece. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this creative tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more inspiring and creative videos. Thank you for joining me.